All right, for today's classwork, again, we're looking at looking at equations and looking at the number of x's and looking at the plain numbers to see if it gives us no solutions, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. Remember, if you solve an equation like the first problem we did in your packet, that gives you one answer, one solution, the solution for x. But you have different kinds of equations we're looking at. So again, for these, sometimes you have to combine like terms first before you could see what you have. Sometimes you could look right away. Sometimes you need to distribute before you look and see what you have. So here we go. The first problem, before I could tell if it's a no solution, one solution, or infinite many solution, again, I need to sometimes combine like terms or distribute. So for this first problem, I'm going to combine this negative 3 and this 10 together. Combine those together. They're on the same side of the equation, so I'm not going to add 3 to add 3. Nope, combine these terms. I'm going to leave the 2x alone, but that negative 3 and 10 give me 7. And this 2x plus 7 stays the same, and I can see... Those are identical, exactly the same. Same number of x's, same coefficient, same plain old number, same y-intercept, technically. So these are two lines intersecting with the slope of 2 and the y-intercept of 7. But in equation form, these give you infinite many, many solutions. Any number I plug in for x is always going to be a solution because you're doing the same thing to both sides. So I'm going to take this and write that whole original equation in this box. Infinitely many solutions. All right, the next problem. This 1 and this 2x shows I have a different number of x's on either side of my equation that instantly tells me I'm going to get a one solution situation. I'm going to get one answer. So whenever I see different number of x's no again that's a one solution situation so I'm gonna write that equation in there x plus 4 equal to 2x the next problem again I could see it has different number of x's even though there's nothing over here that's really technically 0x and then again, there we go, a different number of x's on both sides of my equation. That always is going to give me one solution. So I'm going to write that original equation up here. 5x minus 3 equals 12. And I wrote 10 there, so make sure you write 12. And then this next problem. I need to distribute first. So 4 times x, 4 times 2 gives me 8. And I can see after distributing, I have the exact same thing on both sides. So that is a infinitely many solution situation. Any number for x I plug in will work. Where these, only one number for x is going to work. Infinite, let me, infinitely or one solution. All right, and the last one. And again, write that right up here, the original form. And this last one here, different number of x's on both sides. I'm sorry, same number of x's on both sides, but different number of coefficients. That is your no solution situation. No answer for x will work because no matter what I plug in for x, I'm subtracting 4 on this side, adding 3 on this side. You will never get a true equation working there. Nothing is going to work. Nothing is going to give you two equal numbers when I plug in for x. So I'm going to write that original equation right up here. x minus 4 equals x plus 3. And again, reminding you, Anytime you have the exact same thing on both sides, infinite. Anytime you have different number of x's on either side of my equation, that's going to give you a one solution. Only one number is going to work. Anytime you have the same number of x's but different 
just plain coefficient numbers, that's going to be a no solution situation. No number is going to work for x. Only one number for x. Every single number is going to work for x on those. All right, next problem. All right, this one again, looking at it, it has the same number of x's, but different coefficient numbers. Nothing's going to work for x when I plug it in for a number for a solution. So this same number of x's on both sides, different coefficients, different plain old numbers, it's going to be a no solution situation. These two lines would be parallel, would have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. If you were to write these in equation form, graphing them. All right, next problem. For this, sometimes, again, like I said, you got to distribute. So this one I'm distributing first before I could see what I have. So 5 times x gives me 5x. 5 times negative 3 gives me negative 15. And I have 5x plus 15 here. That is almost the exact same, but because one number is negative and one number is positive, that's going to be another no solution. Same number of x's, but different y-intercept numbers. No answer for x is going to plug in, because this one, if I times it by 5, I subtract. This one, when I times it the same number by 5, I'm going to add 15. Never going to work. That's a no solution situation. Put that right up here. This next one, I'm going to combine these like terms first. So that negative 4 and that 3, because there's more negatives and positives, I'm going to have an excess negative 1 left over. So that is, again, exactly the same as this. And when I have that the same on both sides, every number for x when I plug in is going to work. That is a infinitely many solution situation right there. Any number for x is going to plug in. Where these, no number for x <coughs> if I plug in is going to work. So I write that original equation right up here. And then the last one, again, when you have a different number of x's on both sides, 1x here, 2x here, instantly a one solution situation. Only one number for x is going to plug in, and you'd have to solve to find it. And again, this bottom one, 5x here, no number of x's here. Again, that's a one solution situation. You have to solve this. Adding 2 will give you 20. Divide by 5. The one answer is 4 for this. So one solution, only one number works. Every number works. No number works. So no by the look of them. And put those two up here. And then I'm going to have you do one of these as a row using a flip grid. So good luck with that. All right. Talk to you later.